Welcome to the ultimate guide to being a fake natural. Now, first of all, you have to realize that your goal is very, very important. Without a goal, it's impossible to have motivation. So it's important to remember that goal during the dark and tough times of being a fake natural. And your goal is money. But not just money, lots of money. So first, let's talk about the pharmacology side of things. What you're going to want to do is take steroids, lots of of steroids. Now, you might be asking, Jeff, how do I get a hold of steroids? Well, it's easy. Just go up to the biggest guy in the gym and say, hey, bro, what are you on? Or another one is, hey, dude, what's your cycle? Eh. Those should work pretty well. But if you fail your charisma role, it's easy. Just go to the next biggest guy in the gym. Eventually, you're going to get someone who will talk. If not, just promise to shout them out on your social media when you get big. That should work pretty well. Hey Bradley, how did you get so big and strong? Well, I'll tell you, kid, under one condition. Okay. Well, you have to shout me out on your social media because I'm no longer relevant because no one gives a fuck about my content. Sure, no problem. So, now you've gotten a hold of these steroids and you're ready to become a fake natural. Are you excited? I'm excited. Let's do this. Now, first tip, I had a friend, a friend who did this, and when you're injecting steroids into the butt, as you read online, it, it's into the cheek. It, it's into the butt cheek, not into the hole. Um, if, if it's into the hole, it results in bleeding and it's not very effective. So, don't be like my friend, but inject into the cheek, into the, the meat of the cheek. So, you know, start out slow with a light cycle, some tests, some DECA, some Anna Varadrol, a bowl, and some Winnie, and there are lots of names which I definitely know a lot about, and I can definitely go into the details at some point, not not right here, obviously now, but but just take these compounds, you know, start at, at a, you know, maybe a gram? I don't know. <laughs> That's a nice even number. Just start at a gram, work up to two grams, then, you know, the big boy, three to five to ten grams, that should be fine. So basically, just when you plateau and you're not gaining anymore, just, just up the dosage. Don't worry about diet or training, just keep using more of the steroids. That's just the simplest and easiest way to go about things. And don't worry about your health or, like, your liver or your kidneys or your heart or anything like that. Um... It's a bit like food. It's it's if your body doesn't use the food, it just it just gets rid of it later. Same thing with steroids. If your body isn't using it, it just sort of passes on through. Next, let's talk about training. To be honest, training doesn't matter all that much. You know, anything that's just a reasonably not completely asinine plan is going to work really really well, especially if you have good genetics. Now, This band is no joke. Actually, that's a lie. It could be completely idiotic. It could be like the dumbest fucking plan I've ever seen, and you're gonna grow, bro. Oh. <laughs> Wait, he actually hurt my tummy. Oh <laughs> you're gonna grow really, really well. So don't worry about the training too much. Just go in there, get a pump, do a few sets. You don't have to work too hard. Just you know, get a pump. Make sure you're in the, the good lighting. Make sure you get a lot of footage for social media. You can spit at your fans later. That'll be a big thing we get into a little bit later in the video for those of you interested in, in the money and the fame and the acclaim and the glory. Um, but mostly just don't worry about trading, okay? Just just work somewhat hard and don't worry about like periodization or technique or like compound movements. You can just do isolations, whatever you connect with that day you know that's that'll be fine if anything you could just choose the most ridiculous exercises uh, just to get more attention one thing that's really important is to capture the audience with new dumb shit and uh yeah tune in for more stupid shit like yeah yeah tune in for more stupid shit okay so no one wants to hear about bench press or squat or deadlift or like barbell rows or pull-ups that's been done, okay? And even if those exercises are going to be more effective than the bullshit you're spewing, no one wants to hear about that. So, you know, get out your BOSU ball. It's time to get some views. Fourth, your diet. Now, you're going to be on so many drugs that, honestly, you're going to stay lean no matter what. But it's worth mentioning, don't get 
fat. Even if you're muscular and you're 20% body fat, no one gives a fuck what you think. Six to 7% is where it's at. Yeah, it might require a little bit of discipline, but trust me, you're gonna make so much money that it's worth it. Also, you can cut vitamins, minerals, dietary fat, which is necessary for absorption of those, completely out of your diet. You think you have to rely on your natural testosterone production? Ha 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 ha! You don't, okay? You're rocking 8,000 milligrams per deciliter, bro. You think those nuts are going to be doing anything? Ha ha ha! Raisins. Even if diet doesn't really matter that much for you, it's more about, you know, the drugs, make sure you talk about diet and your commitment and your discipline and your lack of cheat meals all the frickin' time. Even if this sends completely the wrong message to most people, that's what you do, okay? So this shouldn't be any different from the training. Just spew misinformation and give the wrong message as often as possible. One thing you might want to avoid, and this is some real-time shit. This is some pro stuff. This is the proest of the pro bro code stuff right here. Avoid talking about chicken breast, broccoli, and rice. They're sort of onto us at the moment, and this has sort of become a little bit of a meme. So instead of chicken breast, broccoli, and rice, you're going to want to go for the tilapia, zucchini, and noodle diet. That's going to be the thing of the future. Uh, you could really just mix up any lean protein, any vegetable you know, any carb source that's pretty lean, and, like, you'll be fine. Alternatively, talk about your cheat meals as often as possible. Post pictures of, like, a thousand pounds of sushi you're about to consume. Just shove it down people's throats and talk about how much consistency and hard work and all these important things that are totally not steroids that go into you being able to snort 20,000 calories in a single sitting while maintaining 8% body fat. Ha! <laughs> You think they're going to call you out on drugs? Not even once, bro. Now, eventually, you might get some criticism. You might get some people questioning your natural status now that you're 250 pounds and lean and still claiming natural. At this point, you have a few options, though, so don't worry. Again, these are some incredibly professional and useful tips. First, if they're hating, call them a hater. It doesn't matter if they're making logical points, if they're talking very respectably. No, if they're criticizing you, they are a hater. Also, the phrase jealous little bitch works really well because they're going to be smaller than you. And at this point, you have hundreds of thousands, if not millions of followers, therefore, they are obviously jealous of what you've done. Also, question their physique. If they're natural, compared to you, they look like shit. Make sure to talk about that at every opportunity. Also, make sure you say, anyone can test me at any time. I am completely natural. This is going to get a lot of attention. It sounds very confident. Your cultish fanboys are going to eat it up. You can even say, like, you can hop on a plane, I'll pay for the plane ticket. You can come and watch me pee in the cup. That is going to be just some pure grade A fake natty trolling. It's going to get people talking. It's going to get you more followers, more acclaim, and ultimately more money, which is what it's all about. You're also going to want to avoid any kind of blood work or getting blood work or talking about blood work. Don't worry, your blood work is going to be fine no matter what. Trust me. But other people might see your blood work, see your 21 nanogram per deciliter testosterone levels, and kind of question your natural status. And you can't really, you know, have any kind of debate against this because, let's face it, you don't know how to read. You're also going to want to avoid any kind of live debate or confrontation about your natural status. It just, there's no benefit to this kind of situation. If anyone needs any drugs or party favors, I don't <laughs> A really good tip is that if you see Kenny KO, just run. Just just get out of there. Bail from the situation. When the industry, you're gonna get people that troll you. Now, when people troll you. So here's Mr. Simeon Panda defending his natural status beautifully, attacking the person who is attacking him. Most of the time they don't have anything significant to offer themselves to the industry. And it's especially amazing to watch him talk his way out of this because it says, ask me anything on the goddamn wall. Pretty impressive stuff. This is some high level fake natty bullshit. That dude is a fucking Doberman. He will track you down and question your natural status. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. 
Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. Also, after a few years, you now have hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of gullible cultish fanboys. This is a resource that you can and should use. So if someone criticizes you, start some kind of confrontation. You can just overwhelm their social media, maybe get them banned or canceled, and this is going to be incredibly effective at preserving your status as a fake natural. Next, there's going to be a time when you might have to go off cycle. At this time, you might lose some mass, possibly everything, because let's face it, you never learned how to train. At this point, though, you have so many fans that it doesn't matter that much. A few things you can do. First, you can talk about quarantine. You know, maybe you don't have access to a gym, and that's why you're losing 50 pounds of lean mass in a few months. You could tell that you have an injury. One thing you can do, and this is amazing, you can take a lot of pictures when you're fucking shredded and diced and jacked and huge. Then slowly distribute these pictures over the next few years. It's social media, bro. They only see what you want them to see. Next up, and perhaps most importantly, we have monetization. How to get money from your status as a fake natural. Now, the first one is going to be supplements. Now, you're going to want to underdose these by like a factor of 10x. Most companies are just looking to make money. Which is fine, because let's face it, your fanboys don't know how to read a label, and they're not going to like check the scientific literature to see that your pre-workout is basically only caffeine and nothing else. Plus, you can jack up the price a ton because they trust you, bro, because you help them with face pulls and stuff. Number two, we have workout plans or diet plans or nutrition plans, any kind of plans or whatever. Now, you might be thinking, Jeff, I don't know how to write a workout plan. Well, I know. Obviously, you never had to learn because you just use drugs to achieve your incredible physique as well as genetics rather than learning how to actually program for yourself or other people. I know. I get that. It's fine. It's fine. You know, just go to Google, look up some kind of free plan, tweak it a little bit just so that, you know, it doesn't show up in search results as the exact same thing or that people don't realize that you just copied it from somewhere else and then just sell that. Okay. You think people are going to tell the difference? No. And if they get hurt doing your dumb fucking plan, it's their fault because they weren't doing enough prehab. The new kid on the block is OnlyFans. Now, it's kind of like Instagram, except you post naked pictures and people give you money. Now, you might be thinking, Jeff, this is like porn. Yeah, it's porn. Also, don't be afraid to be extremely forceful, aggressive, and heavy-handed with the marketing. Don't say something like, Hey guys, buy my book if you want to support the channel. It's really good and helpful and has a bunch of really high rated reviews. No, okay? Try something like, buy my friggin' cookbook. See? Your followers don't follow you for your information. They follow you to be browbeaten and yelled at. You might think, Jeff, being a fake natural is a young man's game. It's a SARMs plus teenager type of thing. And that's where you're completely wrong. If anything, your earning potential goes up as you age. If you're a, a silver-haired silverback and you're 50, 60 years old and you're still fucking diced, if anything, your earning potential goes up exponentially because you can now connect with and relate to the older generation. And they want to get fucking diced and you just say you're natural. You just say you're natural and you have the training system and the diet and everything that can get them to the same place you are, even if you're completely fucking juiced. And if you fully commit to this, throw away all your morals aside, work hard in the gym. I'm just kidding. You don't have to work hard in the gym or on anything. Work hard on the social media side, really over market yourself, maybe push some ads, that kind of thing. You should be looking at six, seven, maybe even eight figures within a few years. So that's all for this video. Like, subscribe. This was obviously satire and I will see you in the next video. Yes. <laughs>